Hello everyone. So today let me show you how we can create uh, a YouTube uh, subscribe uh, banner very easily using Caden Live and uh, this is something that you can do in Caden Live by cre creating of course uh, your own project and we'll be using uh, these uh, title clips and believe me you can do it in few minutes and let me show you how you can also do it just follow me and uh, maybe if you're doing something similar i can uh, of course uh, show you how to create uh, this subscribe banner that will appear and also disappear in your video and you can also reuse this uh, in any project so the good thing about i mean good thing about these uh, projects in Caden Live is that you can also import them in other projects and it works wonderfully well so let me just uh, add a new title clip and what we want to do we want to probably have uh, some kind of uh, let us say rectangle Re rectangle so i can just create a rectangle like this and i'm a bit uh, uh, concerned about uh, the uh, size and dimensions so what i will do is i will use these numbers on top so uh, so when, this is of course based on my experience I try to, so whenever I create a title slide, I try to keep them in center so that it is all aligned perfectly. For example, this rectangle can be anywhere. You can of course create a rectangle of a specific size. Maybe I want something like 130 by, uh, sorry, width could be, let us say 1500 by 200. So this is of course uh, my rectangle and I can also move it uh, or align it vertically and horizontally in the center. So this is great. So the sec the next thing that I want to do is I want to create let us say a button, like a rec like a you know subscribe me button, so which I can draw here somewhere, and I will change the color to maybe 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 red. Why not? Okay, so this is good, and this is probably too big, so this is fine I guess, and I will probably align it like vertically, because I I don't I'm not really sure if there is a way to like do it. Uh, properly so basically what i can do is i can maybe keep it here and then i can uh, use this so that they're all so basically i want this subscribe button button to be to be in the exact center and also you can uh, note these these numbers on top for example maybe you want to leave a margin for example if you click on this button uh, so of course you have the x and y so you can basically use uh, these numbers to calculate margin if you want i mean if, if you're like me then uh, yeah go ahead but I think uh, it looks fine. The second thing, thing I want to do is, of course, I want to, to write something on top of it. So I'll write uh, here, uh, subscribe, right? So this looks good. And I'll change the color to white. So it is not hidden. And let, let me just change the, the, the size. Yes, I, I think this looks good. And I'll move it, of course, somewhere. Okay, so now this is, I, I want subscribe to be in the center of this rectangle. So what I'll do, I'll first move this uh, red uh, button to center. I'll align it vertically. And again, I'll also move the text here. So they are all vertically aligned. And then I will select this um, button and the and the text on top. Come on, I think uh, the button Z index is probably, okay, now it is fine. So let me just do it one more time. So this is, of course, not ideal. Maybe there's a better way of doing it uh, because I'm used to like grids and there is no like help here to align the align things because I ideally I want uh, the alignment to happen uh, in relation to the other objects. But of course, you can't really do that. So you can, of course, select uh, both the objects and move it somewhere here, let us say. And then I will align it vertically. So let me just try to do it. It works, but not always. I'll select this and then I'll select this using shift and then come on. <laughs> let me just do it one more time. Okay, this is fine. And then, okay, I I'll do it one by one. All right. Uh, yeah, this is all right. And uh, maybe I will move it slightly on the left hand side. So I'm just trying to do it, uh, uh, of course by uh, by looking at of course the lines here the the, the layout or basically the, these guides but at the same time I keep things in the center and that is it so that is my basis 
uh, to basically make sure things are, uh, I mean, the gapping is correct, uh, at least vertically. So the second thing, thing I may want to do, I may want to add uh, maybe a logo or something like this uh, somewhere on the right hand side. So let me just find uh, a logo here. Uh, maybe this one, why not? So I have this logo, which I can use, which is basically, let us say my company's logo. And I may want to change the the size of this logo. So 200 by 200, I think this looks good. And I will move it somewhere, oh, maybe a bit smaller than 200, maybe 180. Okay, this looks all right to me. And again, this is not vertically aligned, which is fine because I can then click on this. So it will be vertically aligned, but uh, it will be in the center with respect to the white background. And maybe I want to write something here. Maybe I will write here, uh, uh, what should I write? Okay, I'll change the color to something like bluish, which is uh, my company color, 00 AFEF. And then I will, come on, I'll just do it again. Why not? Okay. Boxes. This is my company name and I'll move it here and I'll not really worry too much about the uh, alignment right now but I'll just click on this and I'll uh, maybe uh, move it somewhere inside the box and then I can uh, vertic click on this button to vertically align this and I think this is fine let us not worry too much about it so this is good okay what happened to the button so the red button is gone where is the red button let me just take a look at the okay so i think this was something due to the z index all right so this is fine now what what we want to do is uh, we want this uh, to appear um like from the bottom to top and then disappear so i'll just drag it here and i'll uh, expand the timeline slightly okay so let us look at the i'll just keep it in the uh, like uh, like at the very start and uh, what I will do is, I will then first, of course, show you. So nothing will happen because it is in the center. And I, I prefer to to keep things in the center, but uh, using transform, you can always uh, move it. So I'll select here, transform, transform, and I will drag it on the clip. And on the right-hand side, what we want to do, we want to probably add like a, uh, so maybe what I want, maybe somewhere here, I want this to, uh, okay, so let us do one thing. Let us first, uh, make sure that uh, by the time it reaches somewhere here it is uh, so it should start with uh, let us say from the very bottom it should appear on top so in the beginning i will try to uh, so just click on this and change the y maybe you know try to try a number like 1000 right so or maybe it is a bit too much maybe 500 okay so maybe 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 600 maybe Okay, not 600. I'll just keep on increasing it. So now it is hidden. So in the beginning it is hidden. And I want somewhere here uh, this to appear. So I can add this uh, keyframe. And I want uh, this number to, of course, decrease. So I'll just use uh, maybe something like 400. So this is fine. Perfect. This is fine. And now if you look at it, uh, you can see this num this is appearing so it's a bit slow but what we can do is we can uh, make it fast by moving this keyframe somewhere here so that so that it appears instantly or maybe the speed is quick this is much better now we want it to stay here and then disappear or maybe you know uh, disappear along with some effect so uh, what we'll do is after this keyframe i want somewhere here this to um, reduce in size so I'll just add a keyframe and then uh, I want it to stay here for, for a while, maybe. Uh, so I think the clip duration is five seconds. So this is like one, two, three, four, five. Like for one second, it will it, it will take one second to appear. Then it will stay for two seconds and then it will start uh, uh, decreasing in size. So I'll just change the size to maybe 10%, I guess this is fine. and. Uh, I'll probably add one more keyframe at the very end, uh, or maybe maybe I'll just do it here. So along with this uh, decrease in size, I want this to also uh, like go away. Like it should probably shrink and then go down. 
under somewhere right something like this so it will look cool super cool and uh, maybe oh, let us first take a look at how it looks so this will appear first okay so i think i think i might want it to stay for a while so i'll just uh, um i'll just move it here let us see let us see how it works so it will it will oh so i think this is something that i don't really want so maybe i want the size to stay like this for a while so i'll probably add uh, a keyframe here so i'll add a keyframe at maybe third second maybe okay so now this will appear and uh, it will slide up and i want this to stay here so i'll just uh, make sure that it, at this third keyframe the size is still 100 percent okay perfect let us see let us see what and maybe i want the num the, the uh, y to stay 400 okay this is fine okay so it will appear it will stay here and then it will go away and when it goes away maybe i also want it to fade because it will look cool because why not and uh, i'll add fade out and i'll drag it on the clip and when you are doing fade out maybe i want uh, the fade to happen here um or maybe to happen okay let us add the fade at the very last keyframe and maybe i want uh, so we don't really need keyframe here so we can just say okay three um or maybe the last one second of it so i can just change it to zero one zero zero and that is it let us see let us see how it looks so at the very last second it will also uh fade away so this will come up and so the fading is probably not massively visible here uh, let us add the fade uh, maybe I'll just use two seconds so I'll just check if I can okay I'll just use this come on I'm just using the mouse here because I was not able to click okay let us see how it looks okay now it works now it works all right so i'll collapse the sidebar that will so i think the fade is happening slightly uh, it started happening uh, a bit too quickly let me just delete it come on and do it again okay let us add the fade and right now it is three Okay, maybe, maybe I want fit to start somewhere here. Okay, I think this is fine. I'm happy with this. 